we have done the multiplication of indices. Next, we want to move on to division of indices. Here we have 7 to the power of 5 divided by 7 to the power of 2. Now this can be written as this. We cancel out the 7s. And we are left with 3 7s. So the answer is 7 to the power of 3. Now this is the same as taking the indices of 5 here and then subtract 2 from 5. So 7 to the power of 5 divided by 7 to the power of 2 is the same as taking the difference of the indices. 5 minus 2. So we have this formula. a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of the difference of the indices, m minus n. This question, 8 to the power of 5 divided by 8, it can be written as this. We cancel out 1 8 above and 1 8 below, and we are left with 4 8s above. So the answer is 8 to the power of 4. In index notation, it is 8 to the power of 5 minus 1. Now the 8 here is actually to the power of 1. So we get 5 minus 1 here. So remember that a is actually a to the power of 1. This one, 8 to the power of 5 divided by 8 to the power of 5. It can be written as 8 times 8, 5 times. All the 8 cancel out. And we get 1 over 1, which is 1. In index notation, it is 8 to the power of 5 minus 5. And the answer is 8 to the power of 0. Note that the answer here is the same as the answer here, which means that 8 to the power of 0 equal 1. Actually, any number to the power of 0 is 1. So generally, we write it as a to the power of 0 equals 1. This is an easy one. 4k to the power of 9 over 8k to the power of 3. First, we simplify the numbers. We divide them by 4. So we get 1 over 2. And then, for k to the power of 9 divided by k to the power of 3, we take the index 9 and then subtract 3 from 9. So we get 1 over 2k to the power of 6.